Okay, back to problem five. So we want to factor the top. What multiplies together to give us 16, yet adds together to be a 10? Well, 1 and 16, no, 2 and oh, 2 and 8. So this top factors to an n plus 2 times an n plus 8 all over an n plus 2. How convenient. Notice the n plus 2s cancel out. And this guy simplifies to simply n plus 8. Would you rather, if you had to plug in 11, would you rather plug in 11 to here and here and here and then, or would you rather just go, oh, 11 plus 8, 19. I guarantee you that answer, if I plug 11 in, is going to be 19. Right? 100% positive of myself. But the problem is, at the very beginning, n was not allowed. What would create a zero on the bottom? A negative 2. You can't let n be negative 2. But it looks like if you and I write n plus 8, it looks like, oh, I could plug negative 2 in and get 6. But you and I know that's not a possibility. That's the one number we're not allowed to plug in. When we crossed it out right here, we had to say, hey, you've got to make sure n can't be negative 2. Because it disappeared, the n plus 2 did, but that restriction of n not being able to be negative 2 did not disappear from the original equation. So you got to make sure you tell people you can't use negative 2. You can use any other number here, but negative 2 can't be used because it will create a 0 in the original problem, and so it won't. you can't divide by 0. Number 6, what multiplies together give me 24 and yet adds together to give me 14? Well, the bottom being n plus 12 is probably a good indication that it's an n plus 12 and an n plus 2. And then we can see the n plus 12s are going to cancel out. We're left with an answer of, hey, that's just an n plus 2. But we must remember to put the restriction that n can't be. What would create a 0 right here? That n happened to be a negative 12, it would create a 0 in the denominator. And then you wouldn't be able to solve it. So we must put that restriction. Number seven, well, that looks, that's pretty, again, if that middle number is bigger than that guy there, you know you're using a one and a 14. You're using the outermost numbers. So it breaks down to that because you get a one in and you get basically 15 in. You can see one in and 14 in. N plus 14s are going to cancel out. You're left with an answer of n plus 1. So this guy simplifies to just n plus 1. Wow, that's nice because if I had to plug in, let's say, 17 into this equation, it'd take me forever to figure out, oh, the answer is going to be 18 because 17 plus 1. Much easier to plug into this. But what did we forget to do? We forgot to put the restriction. When we crossed this out and got rid of the denominator, that's a good indication. Hey, you got to make sure you say what n couldn't be. Even though it disappeared, it still can't be that value of negative 14 because negative 14 plus 14 gives you a zero in the denominator, and that is not allowed because you cannot put things in groups of zero. And finally, number eight, multiplies 11, gives you a bigger number in the middle. Well, that's going to be an n plus 1 times an n plus 11 all over an n plus 1. We see our n plus 1s go away, which means we're going to have to say, hey, make sure you can't let n be negative 1. So this simplifies to n plus 11 with the restriction n can't be a negative 1. That doesn't disappear. It still cannot be negative 1. You can plug anything in as long as you don't plug in negative 1. There you have problems 4 through 8.